So we're talking about hydrogen bonding next in our list of types of intermolecular forces. Um, the picture shown below is a hydrogen bond, and we're showing the we're showing the dotted line um, where the hydrogen from one atom molecule is uh, associated with the lone pair on the other molecule. In this picture, we have ammonia, which is NH3, and water, H2O. That is a true hydrogen bond with two different molecules. Um, in order for hydrogen bonding to occur, um, remember it's an extreme form of dipole-dipole. So the most electronegative atoms of the appropriate size on the periodic table, nitrogen, oxygen, and fluorine, are the only ones in which the polarity of that bond between hydrogen and fluorine is great enough, um, polar enough for hydrogen to almost be H plus, not quite, um, but it makes that, that bonding super strong. There's a cartoon on the right of the hydrogen bonding in water. Water is specifically unique because it has the opportunity to produce two hydrogen donors from the same molecule, and it has two lone pairs, so it can accept two and donate two. And that makes the density of ice um, less than that of liquid water because it creates these air pockets, which is a really interesting topic in itself was the topic of an earlier video. So when we look at organic molecules, we're looking at the functional groups present. We mentioned this before when we talked about organic molecules. Any alcohol would be um, capable of producing hydrogen bonding. Um, now the hydrogen uh, bonding refers to both the hydrogen being donated and the lone pair on the other molecule accepting that hydrogen. Um, just to clarify, to accept a hydrogen bond does not mean that the lone pair has to be connected to an oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine that is then connected to a hydrogen. So we'll give an example in DNA. As you know, collectively in DNA, where the base pairs in the DNA hydrogen bond with one another, and you can see these interactions, GC pairing, AT pairing, GU pairing, et cetera, um, we have the lone pair, which is not shown, but you know that nitrogen is going to have a lone pair when it has three bonds, um, accepting a hydrogen bond here. And then note up here, we have a double bond O, so the O has lone pairs. It can accept a hydrogen bond, but it can't be the creator of that hydrogen bond. So collectively, hydrogen bonding can be quite strong on a relative scale, relative to the intermolecular forces you could have. However, keep in mind, these are not covalent bonds. Um, so in DNA, it's only strong because there's so many of them, so a large collection. 